yeah, sleep with different people. So in that, mm. let's say it's been like a year since you've really embraced that. How many people would you have slept with in that year? Yeah, give us some numbers. Uh, probably 300. <gasps> Damn. Oh, Jesus. In one year. Would that be the average or is it like a big lump sum in one session? Oh, in a day, five. Oh. Wow. But women are not promiscuous at all, are they? One day. All right, guys. Got a banger of an interview right now with the... <laughs> 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 you know, he know, he know. He knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. He said doing. it with a straight face, though. He got a good poker. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That means that if the joke, that's a, that's if the joke don't land, I just said something. If it lands, I made a joke with a straight face. That's it. It wasn't premeditated. I before the three hundred people in a year, I think my body count was like twelve. Um, and I was like, you know, I haven't had that much sexual experience. I had an OnlyFans at the time. I was like starting to be a bit more sexually open, trying new things. Like it was more of like a me. That damn OnlyFans. Thing just to like explore myself, I guess, and then and it's so funny that like I explored myself by letting others explore my insights. Yeah, someone you know, in order to explore yourself, you have to you know hire a little Jack Cousteau to go in the death of your yeah, and it's 300 and 299 bodies to come through as well. 399 Cousteaus. <laughs> That is a lot of exploration going into your deep caverns. All I can say is you better be checking for speed bumps along the way. That's for sure. That's a lot of bodies. Submarines. But yeah, I never expected any of this to happen, and it definitely was not planned, which is insane. So is that 12 people total or 12 people per year prior to this? Is it 12 people? Was that like 12 total? And then you went to the 300? 12 people. Yeah, 12 people total. And then three. That's still a lot. 300. Okay, so now let's get into the juicy stuff here. Because, okay, so first and foremost here, like, because <laughs> I got to ask, because a lot of people are asking DM, because we have a rating system, I'm able to kind of gauge, you know, guys are able to gauge, I'm married now, I don't gauge anything, by the way, nothing. <laughs> Not like so, happily married. Um, you look like you're lying. I don't know what it is you're lying about, but you sound suspicious. <laughs> Whatever you said you didn't do, I now believe you do. And your wife should be made aware. Did he not sound so guilty? Yeah, you know, guys have... I, I would never. I'm married now, so I would never do that. But, like, you know, guys... You sound a bit sick, by the way. Yeah, no, no, no. I never... No. <laughs> not like that, but it is what it is. Thou doth protest a little too much. <clears throat> so... As the homie Shakespeare would say, I don't want to plagiarize. Oh, that's now, homie Shakes? Look- that's the homie Shakes. Hey, Spears was killing it back in the day. Yeah. yeah, he was putting on them plays. Speezy. <laughs> the homie. Shake Speezy. Yeah. Shake Speezy. What is your rating system when you're going through, you know, picking the 300? Is it like they got to be a seven and up? What's your rating of a seven? Have you lowered your standards to get to the 300? Because, like, again, if you have that vault. Okay, now I got to go watch that movie, the 300. Volume, I would think quality would go down. What is, what's your criteria here? No, I am seriously picky. Like, I would not go below a seven. Obviously, personality is probably more important to me. But if it is just going to be a one-night stand, then I would rather go off looks because at the end of the day, we're not going to be doing that much talking. So, And there it is. I just said this in another video. Women will sleep with the man off rip, one-night stand, just because of the way he looks. Because, again, if she doesn't see anything serious, this is the, the how modern women think now. If she doesn't think there's anything serious that could come out of it, she'll just sleep with him because he's hot. She doesn't do the smart thing, the the realistic thing, the logic thing and say, well, you know what? If I don't see anything with them, I'm not going to sleep with them. But this is the mentality that women in the West have. Yeah, yeah I, I would never drop a low. Because it sounds like you're picky, but out of the 300, if, if you really like somebody, I would assume that that person would probably be with you and dating you to some degree or you just don't want to date at all. Yeah, I think, like, honestly, it's crazy because my criteria is very simple. I want a guy who's loyal, family orientated, um, kind, non judgmental, um, intelligent. I think intelligence is like a really important thing for me. Someone who's like just like equal to the way that I think and also my morals. Like, a lot of people say I don't have any morals, but I do. Um, so, someone who's like on the same page as me with that. So, it, they're not that crazy, but it is really hard to find a loyal, honest, nice guy these days. <laughs> um, no, it's not. You turn those guys down. Those guys are in the friend zone, and you only want that guy when you hit the wall and you can't get the Chads and the Tyrones anymore. That's the truth. Pay attention, guys. 
Maybe you're looking in the wrong places. Maybe you're looking in the wrong places. I'm pretty open minded. <clears throat> Any woman sleeping with five dudes in a day, I'm going to think she got problems. Unless it's your job, which even then you probably have job problems for doing that job. I just, I kidding. Five niggas in one day? You can be open minded, <clears throat> open minded uh, uh, as much as you want. Op- five, five people in a day is exhausting. I don't care how much you like it. I think most people look at that. And if that was a dude in your place, they'd be like, he's an addict. A guy that does five girls a day? In one in one day, that's yeah, that's 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 pretty crazy. Either way you look at it, a guy or a girl, there's some issues going on with that. It's even worse for a woman. Crazy. That's a lot. I'm hearing all this stuff, and as open minded as I am, you need to meet someone way more open minded than me. And I feel like I lean pretty far more open minded than most men I know. Sure. Because most men I know here, a girl's got a high body count and they lose it, it yeah, or it they not with it. Yeah, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be that. I don't think I know any guy personally mm-hmm. who would hear a girl did three hundred dudes in one day in one one year, and they would be cool with it. five in one day is crazy. To me. You ask any ex workers, and and and, the, and she she when she's doing that, she's not she's not charging for that. She just goes about doing her thing, right? So. When you ask any ex workers if it's a problem for them to find someone, everyone's going to tell you, yeah, it it, 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 it it is a problem. Yeah. It is going to be difficult to find someone. It's not going to be easy to find someone that's going to be able to be like, yeah, no, that's cool. But yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready to find someone. Um, I'm not just out here to, you know, fuck people over or anything like that. Like, I do want to settle down and I want to have a family. No. See, see uh, okay. What's wrong? What's wrong? People say, I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to do this. You can't be settling it down when you fucking five dudes in one day. You can. Don't you care? You ain't got time. You ain't got time to get to know anybody. You ain't got time to really invest yourself in somebody. You're too busy entertaining everything else. Even trying to date multiple people seriously is incredibly difficult. It's time consuming. Managing a real job, managing your own business, and trying to fuck somebody new every day, you're not going to do it. Yeah, and, and you know, you you're, if you do that, you're spending way too much time focusing on that and not enough time focusing on the rest of your life, your business, or whatever you got going on. Your life should not be dedicated to just sleeping with people, especially for a man. That's a straight-up L. And for a woman, that's just 304 status. It's all That's all it is. Let's just call it spade a spade. She's a 304, and just like all the other 304s that have been ran through and penetrated by all these hundreds of men, now they say, well, I'm ready to settle down. And they think men are going to actually be okay with that. Yeah, you picked me. Great. I'm the star of your movie now. Great. No, it doesn't work like that. And men will lie to you and say, yeah, I want that. I want that just so they can bust it down, just so they can hit that. That's all they're thinking about. But see, women confuse men having sex with them with commitment. You're not going to do it. So people say you're talking about, oh, my God, I'm ready to settle down and be serious and be family oriented. You just went from the most hedonistic lifestyle and you think you're just going to turn it off like a switch. I say this thing to dudes all the time. Dudes, you think like, I'm going to keep fucking around and doing everything I want and I'm going to just meet someone the next day and it's all going to work out. That's not how it works. You can't just undo a lot of the habits that you built, the kind of dopamine rush that you built into your brain of discovering somebody new and think you can automatically switch and be ready for that lifestyle of like extreme discipline. That's, that's not that's not the way the human body works. You've literally built like newer pathways when you're every two messages to somebody new and you're getting into that and you're getting that first thing. You're building that repetition in your brain. You think you don't want to turn that off and you're not going to be staring at other people. You won't be extremely tempted to do other things. That you're not going to have those instant messages from all the women that are already still ready to fuck you because you've lined them all up. You're not building yourself to be a prospect to somebody who's ready to do that stuff. I agree because it's not a light switch. You can't just turn it on and turn it off. Even if you are a type of, let's say you were married for like 20 years and then you got divorced and then you were single for 10 years. It's not going to be easy for you to go back into that married type of mindset just because you were married for 10 years because or 20 years because now you've conditioned your mind. Your mind has been conditioned rather for the last 10 years of being single and just hooking up with whoever. It's not easy to just turn that back on. It's not like that saying, well, once you know how to ride a bike, you you can always ride it. 
No, it's, it just doesn't work like that. The human mind doesn't work like that. But a lot of people fool themselves and straight up lie to themselves saying that they can. Oh, you know, like women say, well, I can just turn on the femininity when I want. No, you can't. If you have a, a career, a life and where, where you're just extremely masculine and that's what you need to get ahead and, you know, uh, 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 build up your, your, your accolades and all that, you're not going to easily be able to turn that off. And nobody, I don't care how perfect they are, is going to make you turn it off or make you want to turn it off. It just doesn't work like that. But again, people live in fantasy. They just believe that they can just, you know, swing with the wind. Okay, let's go to this side. Let's go to this side at a whim. It just doesn't work like that. It's like somebody who wants to be like, all right, I'm ready to go sober. Let me down three more bottles of Henny before I finish up. That's not the way you you get off an addiction. You don't get off an addiction by just instantly going cold turkey. <clears throat> for most people, that leads to really bad relapse. For a vast majority of people, and they start going at it again and again and again and Even again. Even worse than the one they were. In fact, the odds of failing are far more likely than not. And what are you going to do while you wait? Sausage fest. The, the same thing. It's So you're still going to be there. So now I understand. I 100% understand what you're saying. When... You're saying that, yo, you're not setting it's yourself up. Dicks going down her alley, okay? They just gonna be flying, bro. Just anything you can find. Just, I'm waiting, baby. Hey, where, where, where's my, where's my husband at? Where's he at? Oh my God, I'm so patient. Woo, there's another dick. Hey, yo. <laughs> yo, you know that women just beat Stop swimming. Stop singing dicks. Stop. <laughs> oh, I... Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's very true because if you if a woman is in that situation, she's going to use her sexuality in sex because a lot of women think that sex, if they give a man sex, it's going to make the man want to be in a relationship with them. So during that time, what he just described is exactly what she's going to do. <laughs> Let me stop being childish. But I, yeah, I understand what you're saying. If, if, if by, while you wait, are you gonna? Yeah. Could you imagine if no. I'm looking at a girl and I'm thinking of approaching her, and all of a sudden I see dicks flying by in our head? I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm rolling up to a business place and some dude's just popping out. Like, oh, enjoy your turn. I, I, I don't know. That's a little bit too much for me. Two tap on the shoulder. <laughs> your turn, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if there's like wrestling ropes and the motherfucker <laughs> comes out, tag team! <laughs> Let's go! And I just go. <laughs> tag me in, bro! I mean, it's no different than the train. Choo choo! Just at different times. Same thing. <laughs> tag me in! <laughs> Um, but yeah, the right person hasn't come along yet, so I'm just gonna keep waiting. <laughs> I, I definitely wasn't doing it for virality. It wasn't it wasn't for anyone else but for me. I just wanted to experience lots of different people. Like I said, I'd been like pretty, I don't know, like non-sexual beforehand. So I just wanted to I'm like I'm young, I want to experience life. You know, I'm turning 27 this year. I feel like while I'm young, I should go out and have fun and 27. Wow. And I don't believe for a second when women say, you know, I wasn't that sexually active before. Come on now. Come on. Makes no sense. I don't think there's anything wrong with what she's saying. You want to experience, you know, do a little experience, fine. You know, you want to dabble with some drugs, great. Don't start doing meth. <laughs> you know? Don't be like, oh, I want to try new things, heroin. <laughs> no. That's not, no new, that's, not, that's not a new thing? There's some things you don't come back. I want to try new things, murder. No! 300 bodies, that's meth. That's meth for your dating life. You look like you got holes and sores all over your body. They're not she there, don't... but they're in everyone's brains when they think of you as a wife. Yeah, it's those speed bumps all over, especially down there. Guys, be aware. I see the island. My girl's doing meth for dating. So I just wanted to say, it's okay to try new things. A little <clears throat> moderation doesn't hurt either. I think I want to take this time to like really explore lots of different people before, yeah, I am ready to settle down and get married and, and with the same person for the rest of my life. So it was just like, for me, I don't know. I just every day I would wake up and I'd be like, okay, well, who am I going to go on a date today? There's a lot of people. Wow. No, she woke up saying, who am I going to sleep with today? That's what that is with all them bodies. People that whenever they get to with <clears throat> in the dating apps and stuff like that, one thing that you see often is people want to have, they want to meet someone that has no baggage or all their baggage is dealt with. 
your baggage is public. Yeah, but your 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 baggage is public. That's not what I'm talking about. Okay. Though. I'm talking about the fact that your baggage is not being your pum pum, but what you have behind you. Mm -hmm. But now it comes with public. It, it's public. Yes. It it comes with broadcasted, publicly broadcasted luggage, and that's people. People are gonna look at it like. Mm. Okay, so what is the goal next year? So 300, are we going for 400? Are we going to start bringing it down and start to kind of hone in on finding the right guy? I think now it's changed a little bit. I have what I call my regulars, which are like, uh, it's like eight to nine. <laughs> oh, I, I think I can't. Hold on. People that I sort of will rotate with, I guess. It sounds so yeah. bad, but they know about what I do and who I am. Um, so they've agreed to it. And yeah, it's just like, you know, if I'm chilling in bed, I'll message one of them, they'll come over and maybe the next day I'll have another one over. And I'm glad that we talked. And those are the guys that come over after the simps take her out to eat. And she says, oh, I'm just going to go home and read a book or watch Lifetime. And then she calls up Chad and Tyrone, come on over. Matter of fact, I got some food from this dinner. Are you hungry? Crazy. Talk. I just had so many questions based on the situation. I do love the fact that you went viral. Would I have liked it if you went viral for something else from a personal standpoint? Yes. But uh, I genuinely wish you the best, honestly. And I, I appreciate you coming on and answering the questions openly and honestly. And it means a lot. Thank you. No, thank you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks, Annie. And uh, go follow her, Annie K N I G H T. So, so, yeah, things are opening up, and maybe, you know, we'll see you in a movie or something like that down the road. Yeah, like a, like a... yeah things are opening up all right. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow my man said we'll see you in the movie no my man said uh, i hope things open up yeah. <laughs> already but, but he said we'll see she got films up on 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 the hub i'm sure you can check her own leaf <laughs> all right my thoughts on this it is a sickness of the highest order. I don't approve. This woman has been lost. I think that I don't care about what you do when you do it. Though you have to understand what ramification it does to you, your psyche, and your health. It's just that. It, 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 it. As long as you understand that, do you. I don't have to approve or disapprove shit. I ain't so dead. But you have to, and you should do you, but, you know, to anything that you do, there are consequences. Okay. All right. Well, that's it for today's video. Well, you know, I think that, you know, yeah, just like he said, I mean, you can do whatever it is you want to do, but what you can do is expect everyone or to demand that everyone accept you for what you do or what, you, you know, in the way you do it or whatever it is, how you roll in the world. You can do whatever it is you want. But you cannot push that on someone else and say, it's my truth. It's the way I live and you should just accept it. That's not reality. And any man worth his salt is not going to go for that. Nobody wants to use up car. Nobody wants to pay high price for a used car. Nobody wants to pay and deal and help and be involved with the woman that has all them bodies. And that is extremely proud to have all those bodies. They say it with a smile. Guys, you got to start waking up. Now, I think that this woman might be maybe from Australia or something like that. I could be wrong, but this type of um thinking and behavior is prevalent in Western societies. You know, definitely a lot in, in the United States, but also in places like Australia. 